What's up everyone, welcome back for another episode of My Team Korea here for the second round of season 3. We are back in China and I've kind of missed this track a lot. I, I've, I'm, I'm very fond of it. Uh, I don't know why, but I remember, uh, I think it was F1 20, 2018, I think. I raced here at China, man, and the weather changed like seven times, so we had to do seven pit stops. It was absolutely insane. Like it was started off wet, it dried up, then it rained again, and then it dried and it rained. It was just absolutely insane. I mean, it's just it's just crazy. The weather can be quite unpredictable here in China sometimes. Um, but yeah, I uh, haven't raced on this track in a long time. Uh, it's, it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. I think the last time I raced here was probably F one twenty, maybe twenty nineteen. I think I'm not entirely sure. Or 2020 actually in last year's game um but yeah i haven't i haven't raced here in quite a while man it's, so it will be a bit difficult to get the hang of it you know get 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 it going um this is our one and only lap of q1 um hopefully it will be enough to get us through to q uh q2 i was making quite a lot of mistakes so that's why i've come out so late here um i did make quite a few mistakes at the beginning so it's a bit tough i mean practice sessions didn't go too bad for me i did obviously do some practice sessions i mean i have to get familiar with the track again so but the ai seem really good here man they seem uh, they, i don't know man they just they just seem so so quick here um hopefully we can match their, their speed hopefully we can match our teammates speed because leclerc that first race he was an absolute rocket man getting pole position by six whole tenths but that's the end of our first lap and it's only good enough for P8. Definitely not the best, but luckily for us, it's good enough to get us through to Q2. Um, yeah, just, it's just it's just so difficult sometimes, man. Like some of these tracks, the AI are s like so, so good at, man. And then other tracks, the, the player is way better than what the AI is. So it's like, it's always, it's always different, which I guess makes it quite fun, I, I suppose. Like you never know really how well you're gonna do compared to the AI until you've actually done the qualifying. So, um, but hopefully we can get to Q3. In all honesty, I was, I was not, when I did do the recording for the qualifying, I was not really in the mood. Um, it was cold and raining and like, I just, I don't know. I just didn't really feel like doing it so, I wasn't really in the zone so I did so that's why I didn't make a lot of mistakes and like I wasn't as quick as I probably could have been but then again my qualifying pace compared to the ARs is not the best but my race pace compared to the ARs is a lot better um, so we'll see how it goes we'll see how where we are at the end of this qualifying session um, the Alpines are actually actually uh, quite surprising to me the Alpines are looking quite good I'm, I'm really am I'm, I'm actually kind of rooting for them this season I really hope they can get like a win and some podiums uh, it just comes down to how well they develop their car I suppose um, but uh, they, they, they should be in for a good chance they do have the most powerful engine so this could be a really good opportunity for them this season but we, anyways we're gonna come through the final corner now DRS open coming across the line and that's only good enough for sixth and we're almost a half a second off of Vettel's pace man so definitely, definitely not not uh, uh, the way to go, I suppose you could say. Um, very, very disappointing. Very, very disappointing, I have to say. Now I dropped down to 8th as Leclerc, our teammate, says the fastest lap there. And of course, that was not good enough to get us through to Q3. And that is why I just went straight immediately to the race, man. I was not having it at all. As well as Red Bull's first with Sebastian Vettel in 2009. There's no doubt we've got plenty more drama to come here in Shanghai. We're here in the Yangtze River Delta today, home of the 16 corners that make up the Shanghai International Circuit. 54% of this 3.3 mile lap is taken at full throttle and we'll be getting up to speeds of around 200 miles an hour with DRS assisting the cars down the back straight before they break into the sharp hairpin at turn 14. Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. Let me ask you about Aston Martin. We've had some changes to the regulations, of course, which mainly revolve around the chassis this year. And unfortunately, the early signs are that they've not adapted particularly well. It doesn't look promising for them so far. And if the new regs have hit them as hard as we think, well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. 
Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Sergio Perez, and Ricardo, Norris, Sainz, Vettel, and Esteban Ocon, Joe, Gasly, the owner driver, and Sonoda, Stroll, Latifi, Mick Schumacher, and Robert Schwartzman. Lundgaard, Mazepin, Giovinazzi, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Yep, that's going to be the plan, obviously, to try to get a top 10. The team wants me to start on the hard tires. Now, I was a bit skeptical about it. Um, I was thinking maybe go from hard to soft, but I'll see how the race goes. So, just going to trust it for now, I guess, and, and just see how it goes. But anyways, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as we do get our five red lights. And off we go for the Chinese Grand Prix. F1 is back in China. We get a slow start as usual. But we are on the hard compound of tyres. So I suppose I could be forgiven. As we're going to try go around the outside of Latifi over here. Maybe even Sonoda and Gasly. Very, very wide. But we're going to try it anyways. We, go, we can't quite get to Gasly. He had a better line. Sonoda gets past us. And we managed to stay just ahead of Stroll. But we have lost one position from where we did qualify in P13. So we are down one position unfortunately. But we're going to try to go for the move on Yuki Sonoda, coming from a long, long way back. Nice and easy on the brakes, but we don't have the tyres up to temperature just yet. So Sonoda gets the better traction out of the corner compared to our hard compound of tyre and him with the medium compound of tyre. So very, very, very slow start, I suppose you could say. About, uh, but, so, but it is what it is. We are on a hard tyre. Not much you can really do about it. Stroll and Latifi are also running hard tyres. Um... Yeah, but we're just having, going through this long, we're going to go through this long right-hander before this main straight. We should be able to get Yuki Tsunoda on the straight with some slipstream and uh, uh, ERS. Shouldn't be too, too difficult as Valtteri Bottas, the reigning world champion, is leading the way from his teammate Hamilton and our teammate Charles Leclerc in P3. A big surprise to me, uh, actually, is that the... Mercedes and Hamilton haven't fallen off yet like in last year's game after season two the Mercedes were just they just fell away man and we did get past Yuki Tsunoda there but it's, it's just we just they just fall away but this this game they're not falling away they're still being very consistent as we're looking to make a move on Pierre Gasly now we go a bit deep to try and go around the outside leave him plenty of room on the inside but we get the better traction out of the corner but he's sticking with us but we have the inside line once again so not not too bad and we do get past him we're up into p12 now but yeah the mercedes are very impressive normally they fall off and hamilton especially really does fall off but he hasn't really done so so i find it a bit weird um as we try to go for an audacious move around the outside of the of the homeboy Guan Yu joe here the chinese driver but it doesn't quite work out for us this time around but yeah mercedes are just I don't know, like, it's, it's weird, like, uh, it, I don't want them to be too dominant, you know what I mean, but anyways, we're going to have a second bite at the apple now uh, of Ganyu Joe, we're going to try around the outside once again, this time we carried enough speed, we have the grip, we have the downforce, we got the inside on him now, but he's still side by side with us, we're putting on a good show for the home crowd, he's putting on a good show for the home crowd, he's not giving up that position easily, and we're going to switch it back down to the inside now, and get the inside line, and this surely should be able to do it for us, and it does, and we're up into P2, but remember we are yet to pit but we're not actually up into p2 just about yet Kwanyu Joe is fighting us again he doesn't want to give it up that easily and he actually manages to retake the position from us so well done to the Chinese driver putting on a good show for his home crowd over here it's lovely to see that but we will get a third bite of, of the apple coming the main straight now because we will definitely get DRS on the Chinese driver as we come through the long right hander now with we actually have Pierre Gasly behind us in the other AlphaTauri. I don't know if he's going to be as quick as our car in the straight line, but I doubt it because we will also get a slipstream and DRS. And as I say that, here we go, riding at this lovely onboard shot. Got the ERS deployed, opening the rear wing 
in the slipstream. Got in, he goes defensive. Guan Yu Zhou goes defensive. And we're going to stay on the racing line. Go around the outside. Leave him enough room on the inside. Get the better traction out of the corner. We are up into P2 now. But remember, we still are to pit. But now Guan Yu Zhou is actually coming under pressure from Pierre Gasly and Alpha Tari. But Guan Yu Zhou, they both actually have DRS. So now it's going to be a drag race into the first corner. But we know that that, Al that Alpine engine, that Renault engine is really quick. And he's going to be able to maintain that P2 for now. Remember, we are still yet to pit. This is not the, the pecking order, as, as one would say. There are still times for us to pit. And here on lap 9, Guan Yu Zhou is still running in P2. I think we've moved up into P1 because Perez has pit. But Guan Yu Zhou is doing pretty well here. He's, he's holding his own. I, I was very... Oh! Oh no, and he spun it. Commentator's curse. As we were just complimenting the man, he spins it. And now he's he's not out of the race. His car's still fine, but he has to sit there and wait until the track is clear for him to um, rejoin. As Carlos Sainz makes a lovely little move there on the horse of Mick Schumacher. But he just has to wait and wait until he can rejoin the track. And I think he waited for so long, actually. That's the game thought he was maybe stranded and they have brought out the safety car which we're seeing now so that's a bit unfortunate it's, it's kind of this guy actually messed up my strategy quite a lot uh, I was debating if I should come on for the mediums now but if I put the mediums on now I'm gonna have to do a two-stop because I definitely won't be able to go to the end of the race on the medium compound of tire because the tire way here especially on the front end is very very high so I'm just going to have to stick with the hard tyres for now. And interestingly enough, Bottas and Verstappen are on the hard tyres as well. So they are definitely doing a one-stop. Hamilton and Leclerc have opted for the um, medium tyres. So they are also going to be doing a two-stop. But we do resume racing. We got the jump on Bottas. So we managed to stay ahead of him. So the longer I can stay ahead, I think the better it is. Because I'm only going to be pitting, I think, on like lap 19, man. And I'm going to end up pitting for the soft tyres. I just think it was a better choice than going for mediums. Um, just have some more speed. Maybe snag a fastest lap by the end of the race, you know. But we did get a good run on Bottas. He's still behind us. So we're not going to lose too much time. To, well, actually, it's bit, the more we hold him up, actually, the better it is. Maybe it will help us at the end. Because it's also holding up Hamilton and Verstappen. Uh, and, and Leclerc as well. But here on lap 15 now, Esteban Ocon is actually going around the outside of the Ferrari of Vettel and he gets the job done. So well done to him. These Alpines are looking really good, man. He is only in P11, but I think he did pit under, under the safety car. Unfortunately for Guan Yu Zhou, he's dropped very far down after spinning and then having a safety car and then pitting. So uh, he's, I think he's sitting currently like dead last or something like that. So very unfortunate for the Chinese driver. But as we're talking about that, our teammate Leclerc is going for a move on Hamilton. He's going to try, try his luck around the outside. But then that ultimately gives him the inside line. And it works out quite well, quite well for him. And I actually forgot to mention, uh, around this time of the race, Hamilton was actually struggling. He had something wrong with his car. Jeff came on the radio and told me he's, there's something wrong with his car. Not sure what it was. Um, but he is very slow. I mean, so very unfortunate for him. But we're riding on board with Lando Norris now. He's looking ahead of Sergio Perez. And he spins it as well. Lando Norris has spun as well. So that's two two spinners this race. The Ch Chinese driver called you Joe. Now Lando Norris has spun. Now he's also just kind of got to sit and wait for the track to be clear to rejoin. Hopefully he doesn't sit for too long and bring out the safety car again. But it looks like it's not that long. And rejoins the track back in 18th place. So that's two spins now. He wasn't looking too healthy coming out of that corner before then so uh, the McLaren not doing too well yeah actually Daniel Ricciardo is down in almost last place so they're not looking not looking the best yeah but anyways we're gonna have a look back at us fighting Bottas we squeeze him out don't let him get the racing line force him to go to the inside we leave him just about enough room and we're gonna get the better traction out of the corner the racing line you generally do get a lot more traction out of the corner so but we managed to maintain the position for now and we're just holding up as much as holding him up as much as we can because we're only gonna be pitting in two laps time. And as I say that, here we are about to come into the pits for our one and only stop. Be careful. We, think you're we are going to definitely be putting on the soft compound of tires that should last till the end. I don't see why they wouldn't. Um, I don't. I definitely don't see why they wouldn't be able to last the end. It's only going to be about eight, nine laps. So. And I think you can do about 10, 11 before they really, really start to drop off the cliff. So it's it's, it's going to be a good one. Uh, Leclerc, actually, our teammate goes and sets the fastest lap of the race now. But he is on a fresh set of mediums. 
and we're gonna come out just behind Guan Yu Zhou. So because he spun, he he changed to a set of hard tires and he's doing a one stop and he's actually filed himself back up into P6. That's very impe impressive. That's very impressive from Guan Yu Zhou. He's really he's really showing his worth here, man. He's he's definitely looking pretty good. But we did come out on a fresh set of soft tires, and he is on a bit of a worn set of hards. So we should have the superior speed and grip going through this this twisty twisty middle sector, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna go for a move now. We actually we actually go quite late in the breaks, send it around the outside just to get that inside line. And get past him and we are up into p6 and hopefully can chase down Charles Leclerc now who's actually hunting down Pierre Gasly who's currently sitting in p4 so well done to Gasly as we're having a look at Vettel coming under pressure from Mick Schumacher what is going on over here what is going on with the Ferraris here man do they have does Vettel have some kind of an issue or is this track just not suited to them? I mean, Carlos Sainz is in P9, but Vettel's only in P15. About to be overtaken by a horse. A Ferrari being overtaken by a horse. When have you ever... Oh my word, man. I think... I don't know if it's the Ferrari's just not suited for this track, or if Vettel maybe has some damage or something. But it's not looking too good for him at all, man. But anyways, we're switching back to our POV here. About to end lap 22 and start lap 21. And we actually come across the line to set the fastest lap. And we got DRS on Pierre Gasly. We go to the racing line. Get past him before we even get to turn one. And he's going to try stick his nose just on the inside of us. Because we took a bit too much speed and went wide. But we managed to maintain the position. And maybe, just maybe can try and catch up to Leclerc. Maybe get a P4 for ourselves. I don't think I'll be able to catch Perez at all. But here on lap 28, unfortunately I was not able to catch Leclerc at all. He, he, the medium tires came in very handy for him. My front end is just wearing out very quickly. He actually pulled a six second gap on me. It was two seconds. So um, yeah, the front end of my car is just not having it, man. Not at all. But still, it's a good race for our team. Fourth and fifth, good points. We also got a fastest lap, so not too bad. The reigning world champion, Balti Bottas, is going to come home to win the race from Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. So it's a double Red Bull podium. Leclerc is going to come home in a decent P4. Myself in a P5, so still good points for us. Pierre Gasly is going to end the race in P6. Guan Yu Zhou is fighting Carlos Sainz, actually. Guan Yu Zhou can get a 7th place. If he gets a 7th place, man, that's going to be absolutely insane. After him spinning and like just recovering to get into the points. So well done to him. But it's not over yet because he's got Carlos Sainz behind him in the Ferrari. But the Ferrari aren't looking too good here in China. And the Alpine with the Renault engine is very quick in a straight line. Even though Carlos Sainz has DRS, I don't think it's going to be enough. And Guan Yu should be able to hold on for that P7 unless he spins again. And he doesn't. So well done to him. Very impressed by his driving today. Carlos Sainz will come home for a P8. Esteban Ocon and the other Alpine is going to come home for a P9. Also really well done to him. Well done to the Alpine team. And Hamilton, with that issue that he had, dropped him all the way down to P10. So very disappointing for the Mercedes camp today. But we do get driver of the day. We did start P13 and then ended up finishing P5. So not, not too bad at all. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralized. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Yep, so Bottas is definitely going to try and defend his title this season. The car still seems pretty good. The Mercedes car still seems pretty good. The Red Bulls also looked really good here today as well. So did the AlphaTauri actually and the Alpine. So that's that's really encouraging. Hopefully we can have like a five-way title fight. That would be absolutely insane, man. I mean, it's, that just makes it so much more fun, you know what I mean? Um... Yeah, we did get the fastest lap, so we got one extra point. Not too bad from ourselves. Guan Yu Zhou started 11th, finished 7th. So well done to him, getting some points at his home race. Um, even Esteban Ocon, 
he only made up one position, but you know, it's still good points. Points is points, you know what I mean? So, well done to the LP. Not not too bad. As we have a look at the driver standings now, Bottas retake, well, takes the lead of the driver's championship from me by three points. Hamilton, sorry, Verstappen and Leclerc are level on points for the championship, both at 30 apiece. Sergio Perez, fifth in the championship with, with 23 points. Esteban Arcon, sixth in the championship for with 12 points. Not bad, not bad at all. Guanyu Joe moves up into 10th in the championship with 6 points. So, looking pretty good. I mean, we could have a top 6 fighter if the... Um, or even a top seven if the Alpha Taris and the the Alpines can be very consistent. We might have some tr they, they might give us some trouble. They might definitely give us some trouble. But in the constructors we do retain P1 and uh, by 14 points. Red Bull overtakes Mercedes for P2 in the constructors because of Hamilton only scoring one point. Uh, Alpha Tari move up into P5. McLaren and Ferrari both drop and Aston Martin moves up. Uh, one place as well Williams drops so not not a bad weekend at all but anyways guys that's going to be it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already bye for now and I'll see you in the next one